Hey everybody, in this video I'll talk about turning your character from PBR based shaders to the all new digital human shader system. Our goal is to make the character appear more lifelike and there are three areas we must tackle to make this happen. The first is the character model, which we use 3D scans of digitized real life subjects. The second is the shader system. With the new digital human shader, we can add subsurface scattering effects and strengthen legacy texture maps as well as providing specialized shaders for different parts of the body. The third is the lighting. For this, we have added some additional parameters to the existing light props which can soften light emission and create a physical presence in the reflections of a character's eyes. So how can we quickly convert to the digital human shader system? In this current scene, we have a scanned character with PBR materials applied. Select the character and click on the Convert Object Shader button under the Material list. In the drop-down menu, select the Digital Human Shader and click on the Convert button. You can see that the corresponding materials have all been converted to the likes of Digital Human Head, Skin, Teeth Gums, and Eye Material. However, this step alone is not enough to make the character look more realistic. Let's look at the visual settings and you'll notice that the scene is mainly lit with image-based lighting with the intensity of 80. There are also backlighting in the form of a spotlight but it does not possess a shape. Under Content Stage, we have provided some new items with the prefix of DH, which stands for Digital Human, and some of the legacy content have been updated as well. By applying the DH default light group, the character becomes more lifelike. This scene also has image-based lighting. However, it does not assume the role of the primary light source. You can even see that the intensity of this IBL is rather low at 10. Let's take a look at the lights in the scene manager. Expand the light section and notice that there are three lights in the scene. The key light is our main light source and its presence is evident in the reflection of the character's eyes, making them more vivid. This is possible because the light has taken on a tube shape. We can even adjust some parameters to change aspects of the eye's reflection spots. The side light is responsible for enhancing the silhouette of the character by strengthening the highlights from an angle. This has the effect of exaggerating the details of the shader. The backlight is used to observe the light transmission effect through the character's body. The transmission effect is related to the intensity of the light, shadows, and the subscattering effect. When SSS transmission is deactivated, the light transmission effect disappears. Next, let's take a look at the shader parameters. After converting to a digital human shader, there will be an additional shader settings section under the texture settings, and there are many subsections within it. Let's focus on the texture section. The base color blend map is a type of blend map that can increase the look of blood flow for the face. 
the base color blend map strength can be used to adjust its intensity. Normal blend map is a texture used for blending with the base normal map, which can add more details to the character. Normal blend map strength can adjust the intensity of this blending. The base color blend map brightness and saturation can be used to adjust the character's base color. Adjust the roughness parameter to add more details to the skin. You can also use the partition map to define for yourself areas of the skin of varying degrees of roughness. Adjust the specular parameter to increase or decrease the intensity of the material highlights. You can also adjust the subsurface scattering parameter to enhance the scattering effect. Of course, we have also provided additional content under Skin Normal DH Shader Preset folder. Applying a material from this folder to the current character will cause a pop-up dialog to appear. By replacing the current material, you are essentially repurposing the PBR textures while switching to another shader system. The first option within this dialog box lets us apply the material and discard the current shader settings. The second option lets us apply the materials of the shader without changing the current settings. The final third option allows us to apply the shader settings by copying the parameters without replacing the current texture maps. By checking all of these options, the entire material is changed out, including the base color. Because I only need the shader related settings, I'll disable the first option. There are other presets for dark skinned and elderly textures that we can apply. Once the skin settings are decided, we can take a look at the eyes. In general, the limbus specularity, iris depth scale, etc. can be adjusted for the eyes. We also have additional content for changing out the eyeballs. There are all kinds of eye presets inside the base eyes DH eyes directory. I don't want to change the current size and position of the eyes, so I'll just change out the material. Next, take a look at the teeth where brightness and desaturation can be adjusted.
Along with the gums, we can better observe the insides of the mouth by executing Motion Edit Facial and going to the Modify panel to crank up the mouth lips open and mouth smile facial expressions. You can also replace the entire teeth with another set by applying the content under Base Teeth DH Teeth. When you are about done with tweaking the shaders, the next step is to set up the lighting. This is where the many assets under Project Stage folder comes into play. You can replace the lighting for the entire scene by dragging in a preset like DH Side Dark for a strong side shadow or the DH SSS back to observe the overall light transmission for a character. Go to Stage Element Light Face section and select Key Light 45. Hold down the right mouse button and drag it into the scene. This will add the light to the scene. But if you use the left mouse button, then all of the lights in the scene will be replaced. Using the same procedure, I can now add a full body key light right to the scene and adjust the color of the light to a blue tint so that the shadows on the right side of the character is not too dark. In order to get the silhouette of the figure, I'll now add another light on the left and right back side of the character. I'll now adjust the right side light to a bluish tint and the left side light to a reddish tint. Finally, we can apply a hairstyle. I'll be using a set from the Swam Hair Content Pack. You can go to our website to search and purchase this content pack containing various hairstyles.
apply the hair and notice that it uses a PBR shader material. Press the Convert Object Shader button, select the Digital Human Hair option, and press the Convert button. Now you are free to adjust the parameters of this hair material such as specular strength, transmission strength, etc. There will be a more detailed instructional video released shortly, so please stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned a lot. Right below this video is a link to download the textures you'll need to use for this course. Make sure to check out our forums at forum.realusion.com and I hope to see you on the next video.